I'm sorry I cannot be with you at this important event, but I haven't yet regained my own voice, so even if I were, you wouldn't easily understand me. I hope Don will represent my views well, as he usually does. Let me use this opportunity to state what I consider to be the core idea of biosemiotics. Biosemiotics is not how we speak of living things. That would be a branch of semiotics proper. Biosemiotics is about the living thing itself. The core idea is that living systems and the molecules which they contain are structured to facilitate the semiotic challenges of the particular cell in which they occur, no matter whether this is a body cell, a kidney cell, for instance, or a free living cell, like a paramecium. Most biologists would object to this, claiming instead that the chemistry of the cell is primary, so the semiotic aspect of cellular life is seen as being dependent on the chemistry of the cell. But according to biosemiotics, this is to put the cart before the horses. What the cell actually does must necessarily reflect the semiotic challenges it will have to cope with. And the best way to assure this will, of course, to be to structure the cell accordingly. And since we normally believe that nature chooses the wisest way to do things, we think that nature most likely has managed to anticipate the eventual challenges and to take the necessary steps to counteract them already in the constructive phase of cell development. We therefore maintain that chemistry reflects semiosis rather than vice versa. It should be added, of course, that there is no reason to be stubborn on this point. The causality may work both ways. The important point to stress is that it does not necessarily work from chemistry to semiosis. It may often work the other way around, i.e. from semiosis to chemistry. Nature itself is not stubborn. It probably selected whatever solution was best suited in each case. One should notice here that the traditional scheme of chemistry yielding semiosis has led to failure in agriculture, where the petrochemistry oil has been considered a magic formula to solve all problems, as well as in the hospitals, where it has become obvious that people just don't have chemical problems. The whole semiotic situation in the hospitals is sick and must be revised. So maybe now it's time to consider the biosemiotic scheme. Semiosis gives chemistry. Apart from agriculture and medicine, this scheme might open our eyes to the major beneficial changes in our grasp of ethical or philosophical thinking. And in particular, it might help us to develop a better environmental policy. <laughs>